Hello everyone, uh, this is Aldo in our Night Fox. Uh, today I wanted to talk uh, about a topic that uh, many of you have uh, questions about and it's about uh, cash and uh, how it works and uh, uh, why uh, we sent like uh, five crews robbing cash before we go to sleep because we need cash to upgrade something or uh, before we go to work uh, and when we get back we don't see any of that added uh, to our resources uh, so first of all we need to talk about uh, safe cash and non-safe cash so uh, you see here it says vulnerable cash that means non-safe cash if you click on that it says non-safe resource so right now I have a 520k non-safe resource so that non-safe resource uh, uh, that non-safe cash uh, it's used uh, for your upkeep uh, your upkeep uh, it's uh, how much your troops take uh, what are they getting paid by you to work for you so all that non-safe cash goes for uh, goes for uh, your troops and uh, that's how uh, you, you lose it uh, for uh, when you get uh, back and you don't see anything uh, uh, on added to your resources um, so for example non-safe cash uh, you get uh, from uh, from uh, the resource production in your uh, inside your turf uh, for example uh, when it gets back I will press it you see uh, that it will go up uh, it's gonna be like for example now it was 11k so if, if I press this it's 531 not 520 anymore so one of the non-safe resources is this the other non-safe resource is from the black market so when you trade here any cash that you get it's uh, non-safe so uh, let's uh, use this so I got 5 by it was like 65k so you can see it was added here and it's uh, non-safe uh, from the black market also non-safe resource it's uh, from the shakedown, shakedown skill it's like uh, you're uh, gathering from uh, your resource production inside the turf so that uh, this one here it's non-safe uh, cash as well and also non-safe it's uh, the most important for you guys to know non-safe uh, cash it's uh, the cash that you get uh, from robbing now for the sake of the video let's start uh, robbing something and uh, I want to show you to you uh, how exactly how it works uh, so while we wait that to get robbed let's talk about uh, the non-safe uh, we talked about uh, it's used for the upkeep so the more troops you have uh, the more upkeep you will have and the more money they will require getting paid per hour so because you know we live in a capitalistic world and they're getting paid per hour right now and uh, the wages go up so uh, they, <laughs> they're getting paid by cash not uh, other resources luckily they don't like cargo or the other resources they like cash I mean who doesn't and um, uh, let's put the rolling speed because I want you to see the difference so, for example, uh, because this this issue was uh, bugging me for a long time, uh, I wasn't like very familiar with it uh, for, until I was like level uh, 20, 25 mansion or maybe more. I didn't know exactly how it worked, and I don't think I know right now exactly how it works uh, too. Because uh, I think. Uh, this cash here, when you uh, collect, for example, uh, after 10 hours and you collect it all, it's gonna be like three, four million for me with uh, all the things that I have. So I don't think it's gonna be everything uh, vulnerable, but uh, it may be like uh, 50 or 60 percent of that. It's gonna be non-safe, and the rest of it is gonna be on my safe. Um, so uh, let's recall that already has like 4k so you see you see I already lost 132k I think it goes every minute uh, it takes something away from you or every 10 minutes I'm not sure exactly how it works but you see I lost like 
boom, just like that, 132k, and that was from vulnerable cache. But when this vulnerable cache hits zero, uh, you don't lose anything more. Uh, so, uh, let's say for example, you go on vacation and uh, you won't be here. You see, I got 4.5k, so it went up a little bit uh, again. Uh, so I was telling, like I was telling, when you go uh, on vacation, for example, and you turn. Uh, you don't think uh, that you're gonna see everything uh, has gone down to zero, no, because you have a lot of safe resources. How you get safe resources, uh, safe cash? Uh, for example, uh, let me see how can I get up oh, um, some safe because I don't know if I have anything right now. No, but uh, it's okay. Let's attack this and while we wait, uh, I will tell you the other things that you get uh, safe resources. So safe resources you can get from events, uh, which is the most crucial part because uh, events give you a lot of re rewards, but uh, including you know gold and everything. But the one very important aspect of the rewards over there is that everything is uh, safe, so it won't get uh, it won't get taken away by uh, your upkeep so let's see for example here I took uh, I think a cash right now you see if I, if you click it it says 18 uh, times 1000 it says safe so you see now I have uh, 471k vulnerable if I use that it won't go to 4889 because it's safe. I use that, it's the same amount because that 18k that I got, it's safe. So safe, ca uh, safe cash you get from uh, events, you get from uh, clan collaboration, you get from... Uh, you also get from uh, packs if you want to use money, if you use money and you buy packs, for example uh, uh, come on. So this one here, for example, all this cash, it's safe. Uh, let me see if I can... Uh, it doesn't say, but all this cash you get is safe from the packs. And all the street forces, as you saw right now, it's safe cash. Safe cash, actually, what it means, it's uh, the cash that uh, you get in your items. So the more events you participate, the more cash you will make. The more safe cash you will make, um, and uh, that's why I think it's very important participating in uh, any event you can, because uh, uh, it's the best way for you to grow faster. It's the best way for you to get rewards, and the rewards make you stronger. Uh, it doesn't make uh, only the troops make you stronger or the uh, power count. Uh, it's actually. Uh, how good you are in, in the game and the understanding you have in the game and to know what you do what to do any time given in the game so uh, now you have an idea of what's non safe and what's safe cash uh, for example you can see in the other uh, in the other uh, resources too you have vulnerable cargo or vulnerable uh, arms and metal and uh, but this non-safe uh, cargo that I have right here, it's not uh, it doesn't go away by uh, the upkeep. Upkeep so upkeep takes only cash. Right now I have 1.5 million uh, per hour upkeep, and that's uh, while I use uh, the resource uh, the reduced salary upkeep 25%. Uh, if I don't use that, it's like 2.1 million uh, per hour. So for example, if I have uh, 2.1 million uh, non-safe cash uh, it will go away in an hour just like that uh, but the rest of the non-safe uh, resources here uh, doesn't go away with anything but uh, only if someone uh, defeats you and uh, it gets you uh, and it gets the safe uh, resources from you the non-safe resource from you for example if someone uh, attacks me now and is strong enough to defeat me uh, he will get from me slowly because uh, it uh, depends on uh, his on the crew load of the troops he sends. 
uh, it will get from me 90.95.2 million uh, cargo only for 71k cash but uh, 3.8 million in this so because we have peace at uh, the city and because if you get defeated uh, in the other events like Clash of Mafia or Royal uh, resources won't get dropped from you uh, you don't have to worry about that right now uh, maybe in the governance event that it's in two days maybe uh, there you'll have to bubble so nobody uh, no big player attacks you and uh, steals all the non-safe resources from you but here in this city right now because we are at peace uh, you don't have to worry about that <coughs> I'm sorry um, you see actually uh, I got this uh, but I actually lost more than I got so it's actually 374 you see how fast it goes when you have a lot of troops uh, for example for you guys you may not have like 1.5 million let's open uh, my farm farm account uh, you may have like this 400 544k and this is without using any reduced salary upkeep this one right now it's at zero so now for example that it's at zero I can stay here all day with one badge it will stay 20, 25 million uh, 26 million cash not I won't lose any cash uh, how you can increase uh, the amount of the safe uh, resources that uh, you can keep so for example uh, one of the main things that you can do is uh, upgrading the vault the vault uh, it increases the amount of safe, safe resources that uh, you can have uh, I don't know exactly how it works uh, what I know for sure is uh, that for example for my farms because uh, I wanna remove all the troops uh, if I don't forget and uh, attack them i don't upgrade i have upgraded only the requirements for upgrading other buildings so you see while well, uh, the big farm of mine it's uh, mansion level 22 my uh, vault is only level 10, uh, level uh, 12. Um, uh, if uh, on the other account it must be like level 9 while the mansion is level 18 because I want to attack them and have a lot of vulnerable uh, resources and uh, I get it from my, for my main, main account um, uh, what else oh so one good thing to increase your resources guys uh, I know it's tiring hearing the same thing and you already know that but uh, it's uh, being the most co competitive you can be in uh, every event possible for example uh, the underground tournament uh, try your best with the formation video that I showed you before and get the best possible uh, rewards you can get uh, for example Brett here got uh, like got like 1.5 million cash all this cash goes to your items and this cash it's safe all, all the cash that goes, all the resources that goes into the items are safe resources. It won't go away from you by any means. Um, or for example, uh, this dominion of the mother of God. I don't know what the hell. I don't want to say help. <laughs> so for example, if when I get to 200 points, uh, I will get like uh, 300k cash. It's not too much, but it's gonna be safe. You see in the description it says use to obtain cash safe so the more competitive you are in the events the more cash you will get uh, I know it's like very typical uh, and you know uh, that you have to do that in order to grow and in order to get a lot of cash but uh, I need to say this and also one more thing uh, that um, I do to not lose cash and not lose my time not lose uh, to make the best possible out of uh, my robbing is when I go to sleep or uh, when I go to work before I go to sleep or before I go to work I never send uh, uh, anymore because uh, in, the, in the beginning I didn't know about this uh, but anymore I don't send the robbing cash so I send all my five or three right now because I have two on the nightclubs 
I say I send all my five uh, troops, uh, crime mobs, rob all the other resources. Uh, like uh, when I I'm done with this, I will send to rob uh, the arms here, for example. I send to rob all the other three resources, but not cash, because. Uh, for example, I'll go to sleep, I will go to work, and when I get back, uh, it will all be gone. Uh, even if I go and uh, rob right now, it's like 2 million, uh, two million cash. Uh, it doesn't matter for me, when I get back, uh, I won't see any change in this. It will still be 160 million, 159. Um, what else? Uh, I don't send anything uh, to rob any cash uh, tiles before I go to work or to sleep. And also, right now, because of the video, I uh, collected this, but usually I just leave it there. I just leave it there and they keep piling up. So, when I want to use uh, um, what I do uh, is just before I upgrade the building or uh, I start investing something so for the sake of the video let's finish this and I wanna show you this like right now I have 243k no safe this goes to no safe but I got there I think Okay, yes. Uh, so right before I wanna do some one of those, when I am online, uh, I send a rob five, five cash or three cash. It depends on what I need. But uh, what I do is like send rob cash when I am online, because I know that when uh, they get back, I will be here, and uh, this won't go away. But I will use it immediately. For example, I send and rob cash. To maximize my cash what I have at that moment I center up cash I collect all these just before I I build or train something and uh, let's say for the sake of the video uh, I, this is a good for example right now I have 310k and uh, I collected all this I uh, robbed any, everything and then I'm gonna go and build uh, and train more troops. This is 193k. So I train 193. It's gone from the vulnerable cache. Uh, it's better to do it when you have vulnerable cache because uh, it won't take away your uh, safe resources. If it's zero and it's uh, everything you have here, it's uh, safe. For example, let's say with uh, my farm account. I have this, you see how many times I'm, to I'm talking and speaking right now, it has a move, it's still 25.9. So let's go and update something, uh, invest in something, it's quite cheap. Let's invest in this 145k. <coughs> this, I lost it now, I lost it from the safe resources. It still says zero vulnerable cash. But uh, I lost it from the safe, so what I usually do, especially with my main account, is uh, I collect all the production, I rob uh, uh, from outside, I use the uh, shakedown skill, and then I have like 4 million right away, like in 2 hours or something, I have like 4 million, 5 million uh, non-safe cash, and then I use that non-safe cash to invest in something or start building. Of course, when I want to start building for uh, too much or when I start building my mansion, I don't care if it's safe or not safe. But um, that's a good way to uh, use that uh, that cash that you robbed, uh, use that non-safe and don't just disappear into thin air. Because for a long time I uh, had the same problem. But uh, for me now to have 160 million uh, uh, cash, uh, which I know it is a lot. Uh, um, I use real money, you know that. Uh, especially after like level 23, 24, I used to. Uh, I started using more and more, more and more. I started using more than I used before. Before, I think I only had used like 30, 40 dollars uh, until I was like level 23. But after uh, after that, uh, I started using more money. Uh, but even before uh, 
I started using money, I was very competitive in every event. Uh, I know you guys try your best. Uh, I've seen you guys do very cool things, even though you don't spend money. And uh, that's uh, very good. I'm lucky to have uh, every one of you in uh, our clan. Uh, for example, I have two very good examples of players that uh, don't use any real money but they do a very good job. It's uh, Suleiman and uh, Corey because uh, they spend a lot of time in the game, of course, but they try to do everything in their power to uh, be competitive in almost every event. Uh, for example, Corey plays like, I don't know, like five, six hours a day and uh, she uses all the energy, attacks anything she can do to get more XP, more uh, cash and actually it went from... Uh, actually she's one of the newest players in the game in uh, our city I was like level 21 or 22 when she joined and she's already level 24 because uh, she plays uh, a lot of the time and she competes in almost every event she uses zero money zero life uh, money uh, same as Suleiman, zero money but he's already level 27 he also has a farm account uh, like me I have two farm accounts he has two farm accounts many of you have uh, now farm accounts but I recommend everyone making another farm account uh, it would be very hard for you guys to grow uh, after level like 24, 25, 26 it would be like extremely hard to grow uh, fast enough, it will, maybe it will take you like months, like six months just to get one uh, level in your mansion if you don't have any uh, farms, because with the farms, if I go and farm now my uh, this farm, which uh, I don't rob it so much right now, I make it like a, I treat it like a normal uh, member of the clan, if I go and farm it now I will get 15.5 million uh, cargo, which is like extremely good and I have like if I farm both of my uh, uh, farm accounts right now I'll get like 30 million cargo and probably like uh, one or two million cash and uh, like two million uh, arms and uh, 500k uh, metal which is like very good this amount uh, you, you need like two days to rob uh, and uh, like five good event uh, rewards and uh, I can get it in 10 minutes only by robbing two farms. I'm considering of making another farm farm right now and making a third one because uh, I'll need it to uh, make the extra step for a level 30 and for uh, the camps to upgrade uh, all the buildings and to invest anything I can. <coughs> so uh, Let's uh, see again uh, what we talked about today. You learned about non-safe and uh, safe cash. I guess many of you already know that, but uh, it's good that uh, now uh, anyone that uh, didn't have any idea what it was supposed to mean. Now, right now I have zero, you see, zero non-safe cash. Uh, it, will say, it will stay in 160 million point six even if I go to sleep now, I don't do anything, it just stay like that, it won't uh, change anything. Um, what else? Um, uh, we, s we learned about this, uh, you learned about uh, how to increase um, your, your production. Oh, we didn't talk about how to increase your production. Uh, if you want to make more of uh, cash production and this, you have to get good equipment there is no normal equipment for cargo production but there is for cash production for example uh, this coat right here uh, gives me 18.5% uh, uh, cash production extra you also get extra cash production from uh, investing in uh, resources so in the resources uh, you invest in the expansion here counterfeiter expansion and here and I don't know if this is robbing speed, right? Yeah, this is gathering speed. So you get from these, and all these give you better uh, production and uh, robbing speed. Uh, you also get from the skills. Uh, so it's kind of the same deal with uh, 
with uh, what we talked in the formation uh, so all this helps you make more uh, cash more uh, resources uh, for example uh, this one right here it gives me like 20% extra cash production um, but the most important thing it's like uh, learning how to use uh, how to make the most out of the non safe uh, non safe uh, cash uh, so one very important aspect is uh, before you go to work and before you go to sleep uh, don't send to rob any cash uh, tiles just send to rob the rest and uh, when you get back and you know you'll be here and you don't need the troops just send and uh, send the rob something use the skill the shakedown skill uh, collect the production and uh, when you do that then uh, start a building or start an investment or start uh, st start uh, training. Uh, usually you don't want to do it when you have safe. Uh, you do it like uh, as I told you when you have non safe so you won't lose anything else. So pretty much uh, this is it. Uh, I know it's not exactly what you expect uh, to learn but uh, it's a very important uh, thing uh, to know. I didn't have an idea exactly how it works too for a long time. Uh, recently I got it, I asked a few people in Discord, uh, I talked with a few people and they explained anything uh, they can. Um, also guys if you need anything to be explained don't hesitate to message me it's, uh, you know that uh, I play a lot of hours uh, uh, especially lately I had uh, m m a lot of free time uh, right now I have like five or six days off so I'll be here like uh, many hours a day and you can ask me anything uh, we can talk live or even if when I'm not online you can just send me a message and I'll do my best to explain anything to you or if you want it in a video just tell me like can you make a video about this and uh, I'll try to do my best uh, make a video when I have time uh, it's the best way uh, to make a stronger clan uh, uh, it's by uh, being better player getting a better uh, understanding of the game uh, for example, that's why I said uh, uh, Suleiman is uh, very good uh, at the game. It's because he doesn't spend any money, but anything uh, he wants to see, we talk a lot here. Uh, for example, uh, today we talked about uh, another strategy that I found out about uh, robbing faster, robbing like 15. 15 uh, level 6 tiles in just 3 hours and 45 minutes uh, with the equipment and uh, the gathering uh, skill so uh, we can, I can do the same thing with each and any of you guys uh, don't hesitate to ask me uh, any question you may have I can, I can help uh, it's not like I know everything uh, but I've played uh, too many hours I think in this game so I know, it, uh, I know a lot of stuff and even if, even if I don't know uh, something uh, I will ask because uh, uh, I talk with a lot of players from different cities as well I talk uh, in Discord mainly <coughs> yeah, there's a good community in Discord and you should join it just open this and click the community and it will take you uh, to the press uh, accept and uh, continue and it will take you to the discord uh, channel of uh, mafia city when you can uh, talk with the guys on bug report uh, bot spam uh, not bot spam sorry bug report on the game discussion you talk a lot you see uh, this is uh, what uh, i asked a question uh, about something here that I will explain in another video pretty soon and because uh, I wasn't sure how it works and uh, this guy answered me and uh, I understood it uh, immediately so this uh, helps me be a better player and I think it can help you too so that's it from me in this video uh, I hope uh, I helped a little bit uh, understanding about how the safe resources work 
and um, anything you need uh, we will talk it in the game thank you guys see ya